who can say how legacies come to be? So often the path is obscured while in the midst of being blazed. Obscured, that is, unless the path begins at a place like this. Clear view, the name speaks for itself. To see without obstruction, to walk in purpose, to drive as far as the imagination will allow. Renee Powell knows a thing or two about legacy because she grew up here. On this course, her father built with his own two hands. America's course. A place meant to welcome everyone to the game when others refused. Tuskegee Airmen, Marion Motley, Jackie Robinson played here. They were fixtures of her youth. To play on this hallowed ground is to see the game of golf through her father's eyes. For all that it is and all that it can be. Rooted in family, she came of age in a world swirling in racial strife and inequality. But her love of the game was pure. It was in her blood. As only the second black woman to enter the LPGA, she competed in more than 250 professional tournaments during her career, winning the Kelly Springfield Open in Brisbane in 1973. Seven years later, she walked away from the tour and never looked back. Not because she could no longer compete, but because there was still so much more she needed to do. The work her parents began when they carved that modest course out of the Ohio landscape to give everyone a chance to play the game is now hers to carry on. Ambassador, public speaker, head professional, mentor. In 2008, her passion for the game brought Renee Powell all the way to the sacred halls of St. Andrews in Scotland, where her father had been stationed during the Second World War. In its 600-year history, Renee is the first woman golfer to ever receive an honorary doctorate from the university. And her dad was right there in the front row when she accepted. Bill was proud that day, and he'd be even more proud now to see his daughter honor his legacy by creating Clearview Hope a way for American service women and men to find therapy and peace through golf. Renee's always been about putting others first. She doesn't seem to know any other way. You could see it in the work she's done as the first at-large director for the PGA of America's board, and in the work she continues to do every day at Clearview. That's the thing about legacy. It's a shared story the bonding of the present with the past, the connection between clarity, purpose, and hope for a brighter future. <laughs>